Now look, I realize The Bachelor is not the normal programming for my audience, but I talk about what I want to talk about on this channel, so deal with it! Vaughn Jog Vlog so I watched the season premiere of The Bachelor. I don't know what number this is. We have another pilot. This time this guy's name is Peter and he has various girls coming to him because they want to be online influencers. Oh, and maybe fall in love or at least be on television. Now I didn't see much of The Last Bachelorette. I know, however, that Peter hooked up with then Bachelorette Hannah B, who then went on to win Dancing with the Stars and now has to worm her way back into this show because she has to be on television. And every girl competing to win over Peter's heart this season knows this as well. In fact, they know that he hooked up with her four times in a windmill, the most romantic of mills. And this will be brought up ad nauseum throughout the show. Hey, you wanna go for round five? You already had four. Then Hannah even comes in on the first date, telling the windmill story to the girls who already know it, rubbing it in their face. And I'm just thinking, you wouldn't get this many windmill plugs at a Greta Thunberg TED talk. Who could find this guy appealing at this point? Does this guy get more man points for just screwing chicks on television? If any of these girls are sincere, what are they doing here? Aside from the obvious, fame whoring. I mean, hell, just check out this girl with the two first names, Hannah Ann, who also refers to herself in the third person. This isn't the front runner, this is the Joker. Does anybody remember how this show started out and it was like a slut shaming thing where it's like, oh, did you really have sex in the fantasy suite? We're not supposed to tell anybody like that. I can't believe you told America. Now they're bragging about it. Does this go on their CV? And then when they go on Instagram, they post about it. Hey, make sure you buy my life mate supplements. Oh, by the way, I'm the slut from The Bachelor. As I have brought up before, I have an open invite on this show. Many girls from my dorm in college ended up on this show for some reason. I have friends that were on The Bachelorette, and I don't want to be somebody in a revolving door on a show that doesn't actually pay money. It's just this weird dividends of fleeting fame. It'll undercut anything you try to do later in life. Look at all the people who have been in reality TV and there might be three who are not known for being on reality TV. Jamie Chung, The Miz, Elizabeth Hasselbeck, and I think there was a comedian that did Road Rules. But this show never dies. It's always number one in the ratings. There's just so many institutionalized women who have to watch this. They have their party. They get together, they watch The Bachelor, they watch The Bachelorette, they swoon over everything. It's as simple as if ABC tells you this guy is attractive, you believe it. And these relationships rarely work out because these guys do not make enough money to afford fantasy dates every day of the week. So we're at the part of the video where I have to beg you to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell because subscribe doesn't really account to anything other than YouTube might someday send me a plaque.